Hello, I'm Karen Ridges from Veggie Vision TV and today I'm going to be sharing a healthy eating tip with you. I'm going to show you how to cook red skin potatoes. Now, you might be asking what is the difference between red skin potatoes and white skin? Now, it's actually the content of the starch within the potato. White skin potatoes, they have less starch and therefore they're good for mashing up and having you know, nice mashed potatoes. Whereas red skins are great for baking and also for making potato wedges. So I'm going to show you both of those today. So with your baked potato, first of all, simply give it a good wash and stab several times. You can wrap up in foil or bake as it is. This size potato would take about an hour. We're going to pop this one straight in the oven now. With the potato wedges, simply the best way is to slice straight down. And remember these potatoes are going to be a bit more difficult to cut. And then you've got a flat surface to, um, to put them down so they're more secure for the rest of the cutting. So get your very sharp knife and slice down as evenly as you can. We like to make ours in a nice even shape like this. You can of course make them bigger so they're more chunkier. Any black bits you might want to just snip them off or cut them into this shape and then slice down, if you see what I mean, so they're a bit more wedge-like shaped. Again with this potato, cut it straight through the middle. Any black pieces, you'd like to just snip them off. And again, straight through and these can be bigger, chunkier chips. Now the tip that I like to share with people is do add water. We always use alkalised water. And you really do notice a difference. They're not as dry. They're, they really do retain the water when they're cooked. I love to add olive oil and you can use hemp seed oil. You don't need to use that much really. We've actually roasted these without any oil at all and they've been fine. Our Himalayan pink rock salt, a little sprinkling on top. You can add some garlic, you can add some balsamic vinegar. Try different things and see what flavours you come up with and what you enjoy best. So as you can see there's a good a good centimetre or so of water in the bottom of there, so don't be afraid to add too much water. We pop these into a warm oven and we check them after about 20 minutes. So our red skin potato wedges have been cooking now for about half an hour. We check them halfway through. Do remember to turn them halfway through as well. And they are looking lovely and golden. It's really nice to keep the skins on. You can peel them, but I really would prefer to keep the skins on. These are really good served on the side. You can make um, sour cream or a nice dip, some salsa and just a really nice way to enjoy red skin potatoes. And our baked potato will take about 15 minutes longer than our potato wedges. So now we're going to take out our red skin baked potato. So here is our baked potato. An easy way to um, serve this is literally just by slicing it through. 
You can stab the potato with your knife as well and then you will know that it is done properly. Or you can see that that comes out perfectly and looks really nice with the red skin as well. We really enjoy these with lovely cheese on top, cream cheese as well. I'm using some dairy-free margarine. You can drizzle with olive oil. Another tip, what I love to do, is to scoop all of the potato out, mash it up, and then pop it back in. You can mash it again with maybe some onion or some cheese. And there we go. That is how we bake red skin potatoes.